How y'all doing this fine day? Uh, it's uh, Sunday. Uh, I think it's the 21st of January, 2018. There's somebody who wants some attention. Um, but I got uh, looking at her phone, and I wanted to show you something here of her phone, if you can see that. Can you see that? That's the Cove Falls College. Or that's the Falls, anyway, the dam. And then uh, there's her name. See her name up there at the top. And her profile and all that, okay? And, uh, but I just wanted you to see this. Um, home is, uh, you know, it's Harvard Valley. And that's where we are. Okay, you can see all this right here, all this right here. Um, this is the notes. It says, um, let's see if you can see that. See that? It says, I, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, <laughs> and uh, born and raised in the inner city of Toledo, Ohio, and lived there till the age of 31. Married my high school love in 1982, and divorced the idiot in 1997, after being in Tacoa, Three years, I have one handsome son and two of the most beautiful grandkids, Kaylee born 9-28-2000, and little Justin Jr. born 4-29-2013. In love with the man of my dreams, Mitchell Arano. Everyone calls him Gator. Together since 9-24-2007. We own an acre of gorgeous property here in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in northeast Georgia where beautiful Rock Creek flows in our backyard streaming down the breathtaking Curhee Mountain. Curhee meaning stands alone. From the native Cherokee language. All this amazing North Georgia ground belonging to the true Native Americans, the Cherokee Indian, until the white man took away this awesome land from these people and were forcibly made to leave and relocate to Oklahoma somewhere around 1838. Many artifacts are still being found today deep in the wooded hills along the many streams and waterfalls of what is now called the Chattahoochee National Forest. <clears throat> that is less than five miles of where I call my home, Tacoa, Georgia, which, by the way, in Cherokee language means the name described it to a T. Beautiful. So if you have the bloodline <clears throat> running through your veins as I, from my daddy's side, you might want to plan your vacation south of the Mason-Dixon line to northeast Georgia. We are on the state line of South Carolina, about seven miles on the state line of North Carolina, about 35 miles. And if you want to get into deeper the way of the Cherokee, where a few still live here in Dakota and still call home. Most call the reservation their home. Only two hours and a few minutes north to what is called Cherokee, North Carolina. I'm sure you are familiar with, or maybe you have been, to see the magnificent story of the Trail of Tears. Watch the native people dressed in their attire and headdresses. <clears throat> doing dances and song in the crowded streets of shops and taking picture of or maybe standing in the teepee while someone snaps a photo of you. But don't let us forget about what comes to mind for a lot of people just past 20, 25 years. Yep, gambling and lots of it. Heroes has been the most exciting thing for visitors and the most revenue for the Cherokee for the 21st century and now it's not a dry county anymore as it was until um, 
I guess, after the year 2000. But enough pushing history on people. I will let you decide. Only you know how your budget is or if you look forward to relaxing, going on nature trails to beautiful waterfalls you can only get to on foot or staying at a cabin on the side of a blood mountain, which you must have a four-wheel drive, four-by-four truck or SUV to get to. And the only company you can expect to see is the kind that don't speak anything close to what humans do. Wildlife. P.S. I myself have an arrowhead and a tool the Indians use to skin the deer or other food they killed. I still think the two artifacts I found are awesome. But then again, I have lived here 23 years. Come see us and visit for a spell. You could find an Indian artifact, at least a glass of cold sweet tea, and great southern hospitality. So we look forward to seeing y'all. That was her. That was her. Uh, that was her profile. That she has on her phone. You see, you can see that it, it's cracked where I dropped it. But I was just going through that. <clears throat> I was just going through that, and I seen that. Uh, I seen that. <laughs> how she got. How she just got so. She got so countrified, you know, and and uh, it's just a, a beautiful thing that that, uh, that she was, and I, I have memories. I got memories of her, and I, I don't want to start crying, but it's just it's just a terrible shame. This had to happen. You had to do this to her. No. <clears throat> God have mercy on y'all so man. Oh, I gonna stone I can't say I can't say it enough how, how bad how bad y'all y'all are man to do this man. To do this to her. And I can't I just and I push her and I push her out and I know she's she's dead and all and I to, and I push myself out and you know and so don't don't feel bad, you know. I am push you guys out. Well, you know, y'all are dirty son of a bitches. I I really push y'all out. But to me and her, it's just like we're so dumb and naive to think that that this can't happen. So don't be dumb and naive like me and her. Um, you know, the doctor tells you to get some oxygen. And don't leave the hospital, or um, don't think that anybody else is gonna really give a shit because nobody don't. Everybody would rather you be dead. And, uh, you know, your organs are worth more to them. Your body and your body parts are worth more to them uh, with you being dead. And, uh, you know, and your parts going all over and the helicopter pilots get their, their jobs are secured. The doctors taking the, the organs out are getting there in the hospital getting paid there. And not organs that they go to and the doctors there get to put them in and, uh, and the hospitals there get paid. And everybody gets big paid you know but you guess who loses me i lose you lose the family member loses the person that gives up their organs loses so put no put no on that make sure you say no well i'm gonna get some change i, I am it's, a, it's not a joke i'm gonna get me a change says i i don't want to be an organ donor so don't make me one mitchell iron no senior 301 harbert valley road to Coldwood, georgia 30577 Write me today. Uh, tell me what's on your mind. I'll tell you what's on mine. Thank you.